everybody, welcome back to microbeerreviews.com. We've got one of our favorite breweries that we get to review here from the 21st Amendment, always in cans. They've got a phenomenal marketing uh, department. Uh, their six packs come in these really cool uh, recycled cardboard uh, boxes with tons of information about the 21st Amendment, which uh, definitely has to do with... Uh, getting beer and alcohol back into the uh, environment uh, years ago, and they always brew in cans. And I'm a huge fan of cans. They uh, weigh nothing, cost less to ship, less of an uh, imposed uh, carbon stamp on the environment, and if you don't like them, you better get used to them because it's the way of the future. So this is a really interesting beer from them. This is Monk's Blood. That's what they call it. Phenomenal name. Um, if you watch any of my, my other videos, I always talk about marketing. And I cannot think of another beer called Monk's Blood. It's got this awesome uh, presentation. Black can, red labels. It's just, it's marketing at its best. Um, the beauty of this particular uh, brewery is that the beer is even better than the marketing. Every beer I've had from these guys is absolutely awesome. This particular beer, um, what they call this beer is a, uh, a, be uh, uh, let me get this straight, it's a Belgium dark ale with cinnamon, vanilla, oak chips, and dried figs. Okay, so I didn't want to mess that up, I want to make sure I had it right. Belgium style dark ales, a lot of wheat, um, typically kind of have a little bit of a uh, very strong flavor to them. Um, this particular beer has got, it's almost got a weird cloudy, uh, you probably can't see it uh, through the glass, but it's, it's kind of got a kind of a, a cloudy, um, not what I would call on the Irish red uh, nut brown side, but um, just a really weird looking color. That probably has a lot to do with the cinnamon and the figs. Um, cinnamon and figs are not very common to be brewed with beer. So right there, they're giving you something unique. Um, it's 8.3% alcohol. They call it a deep mahogany color. Um, I've used a 34, not real high, not real low. Um, this is what's interesting, the malts. I'm going to read this for you. There are Belgian Pilsner, two-row malt. Pale, two row pale malts, very common. Um, aromatic malts, special B, never heard of that. Flaked oats, flaked wheat, uh, carvenvine, and Cara uh, Munich. Tons of malts in this beer. Um, the other thing that I thought was very interesting is that they say there's also special ingredients. I mentioned that it's got figs in it, it's aged in oak barrels. Um, it's got vanilla bean, I mentioned it has cinnamon, it has candied sugar, and what's really cool about this beer, I think, most importantly, is that there's two bittering hops, there's um, Amarillo hops, it's got a ton of stuff just thrown into the recipe. When you drink this beer, it's hard to label what you're actually tasting, because you can taste the cinnamon, excuse me, you can taste the cinnamon, you can taste the figs. You can taste the vanilla. You can definitely taste all the malts that are in there. But it's got this kind of hoppy background to it that is really cool. I, it, this is one of those beers I struggle with in a review because you can't label it like anything else. It's not like this beer or it's not like that beer. Um, it has got such a unique flavor. It's something with its high alcohol content you can stick in a beer uh, refrigerator, wine cooler, and it would store for a, you know, a good year or two and probably get better. What I taste out of this beer the most are the, are the figs and the malt and then the cinnamon and a little bit of, a, of the vanilla, but it's got such a powerful malty uh, character to it that it's hard to recognize anything else. I like it a lot. There is not one beer I've had from these guys at 21st Amendment that I wouldn't buy again. The specialty beer store I buy a lot of my beers at, um, this this came 
uh, brewery came around about a year and a half ago. I live on the East Coast, and it was it was like hotcakes. Um, the winter be the winter brew is awesome. Their IPA is is wonderful. Um, every beer they have, and the fact is good, and the fact that they brew in cans for our lifestyle on the East East Coast. If we're at the beach, if we're out barbecuing, if we're, we're outside, we prefer to bring cans. And we prefer to bring a, a really good quality beer, we're going to have one or two, in a can than some mass-produced beer that we really could care less if we had or not. Um, this particular beer, this Monk's Blood beer, I definitely have in the winter months. I definitely would buy a six-pack of this again, store it. Um, I would give it probably about a three and a half on our grading scale of one to five, only because I don't. I know a lot of people would get a little wigged out about how complex the flavor is, but it's a really, really cool beer to try. Um, definitely check it out. Um, please leave us comments about Monk's Blood if you've tried it before. It's a really, really unique beer, and uh, I love this brewery. They're they're just doing a phenomenal job of introducing themselves in the market. So, thanks for watching MicroBeerReviews.com. Please leave us comments. We're on YouTube, Facebook. We're on Twitter. We really appreciate you watching. We'll see you again real soon. Cheers.